Hey guys, how's it going? All right, I've got to make a um, a pad for my kickstand so that uh, when I'm bloody out in the sand, poor old Max doesn't bloody fall over. Uh, me and Alistair, hopefully this weekend coming, um, we're going to go and do uh, Whipperfield National Park, which has uh, big desert in it. I'll just show you up on the map just so you give you an idea of where it is. So obviously for those uh, not in Australia, that's Australia, and we are all the way down in the state of Victoria, and we're right in the centre in Bendigo. When I did that other sand ride, which is up here, that's the Murray Sunset National Park. So that's desert area. Then we come down here, that there is Whipperfield with big desert, um, and that's where we're going. Um, and the other desert in Victoria is down here, which is called Little Desert. Our plan is, once we've done that one, we're then going to come and do this one. And we're thinking, but we're not 100% sure, that uh, Little Desert's going to be the worst one out of them. It's a lot more flat, um, and the problem with Little Desert is there's no breaks in between. Uh, that's basically from what Alistair's seen. So, anyway, that's the plan. So, I've got to get this bloody... Um, this kickstand to have a bigger footprint. So I know you can get, um, oh, I don't know, there's camel toes and there's bloody, you know, plastic little things that you can actually sit down there that's not actually attached. Uh, I think VSM, Vinstrand Motorcycles, they sell something that you can like bolt onto it. There's a whole, there's heaps of different bloody ones that you can do. Um, it's about 11 o'clock at night, it's freezing bloody cold. Um, but I just, we've been in the side watching TV and we're just out here and we want to do something. So what I'm doing, actually it'll be me and no, she's just sitting over there, but she, you know, her, she hasn't like always been on the bloody video. Uh, this is actually a mud flap um, off Nay's um, car. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out a piece. I'll bring you down and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so our idea, oh, Jesus, Max nearly went over. So our idea, oh, get, I've already bloody just started doing it and I thought, no, I'll do the video for you guys to see me oh, dicking around like an idiot. <clears throat> anyway, so what I've done, that was in the middle when I first did it. So I've just drawn a line around it. This is pretty hard, hard plasticky bloody stuff. So I'm gonna cut two pieces, uh, one for the bottom and then I'll cut another piece, which is gonna uh, go over it and I'll most probably just uh, pop rivet it on there. So as per usual, that is the plan of attack. Um, rarely does it go to plan. So first what we're gonna do is go and cut that out. I most probably use um, just a Dremel to do that. And then we'll just basically trace it and then cut out another one. So we'll have two and then we'll look at having to cut out little bits and pieces just to make it fit properly. Let's go. All right guys, so I've got the little Dremel. Let's start cutting. That's most probably not the right thing to use. It's getting a bit bloody smoky. As much as I like a good smoke, uh, that's not good smoke. I might uh, try another thing. Hang on a minute. All right, guys, we're going with the old fashioned hacksaw. <laughs> There we go, cut out. <laughs> A bit chunky, but I'll fix it up. All right, so there you go. I've cleaned it up, it's half bloody decent. The battery's running flat in the camera, and now he's gonna go get a battery. I'm gonna trace around there, and then cut another one of these, and then we'll be back to you. <laughs> So 
there you go guys, we've got the two pieces cut out. Not exactly the bloody same, but close enough. So now we'll take it out and we've got to now work out on the top piece. So that's, let's get out there. All right guys, so now we should have some, oh, because it bloody slips. That should be the extra footprint. And then this is gonna go over the top. So what I've got to work out is, it's just this part here that I've got to cut away from there, so that'll slip over. Um, I'm not exactly sure. It might flap up a little bit, so it'll hold on. We'll just start doing it and see what happens. Okay, so of course, as per usual, Nay's coming up with the, uh, the good idea. I'm gonna use a template. Texter. I can't tell you what we're doing because it's all in May's head. That's disturbing. <laughs> Rough as guts, I reckon. That's <laughs> the way we like it. Apparently the cat wanted to come and check out what we were doing. So I take it she's just cutting out what looks to be. Like it's just a template. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Yeah. So we don't have to cut it all the way. No. All right, so you've got a little bit more to cut off, maybe. Yep. Cool. <clears throat> all right, guys, so we'll come back to you when we've got all that sussed out, but you can see what we're doing. All right, guys, so this is what Nay's come up with. So basically, we're going to try and cut a hole that's going to resemble that onto this and then hopefully what we'll be able to do is squeeze that on to the um, onto the bloody kickstand so that'll be a really good thing to hang on so I've got to work out now how to do that hole let's try a different bloody tool <laughs> all right guys so I'm just gonna trace obviously all the stuff that I do is pretty bloody rough nothing's ever really exact I'm hoping this is in the middle. So pull that out. That should be what we have to cut out. Something like that. All right, guys, we're going to use the weapon. I love this bloody, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's one of those drills that just keeps drilling bigger and bigger and bigger. It's a weapon, I tell you. So I'm just going to try it to see what it works on this particular piece here. <clears throat> Look at that! <laughs> Is that not a bloody weapon? <laughs> All right. So Nay said I've got a little bit too close to the edge here, but um, so I'm just going to just just going to go for it, but stay away from that edge. Wow, spaghetti! Geez, you couldn't get a bloody uh, better better tool for the job, I reckon. Whoops! <laughs> it's all right. I found it. It's looking pretty good. What do you reckon, eh? We'll just give that a try before cleaning it up. Yeah, it's not too shabby. No. A little bit off up here. Cool bananas. All right, guys, so we took it out and um, obviously it's not flexible like a piece of paper, so it wasn't going to go on. So we're making that hole a little bit bigger. And as Nay said, I drove to the inside of the line. So I had to make sure all the lines have gone. So we're now tapering the bottom of it. I've taken out a little bit more. I'm just going to use this grindy thing to see if we can tidy it up a bit. Okay. 
Now let's tidy it up. Let's do the other side. All right, let's give it a go, guys. See what happens. All right, guys, so we're going to try and get this thing on. Yes! No. Oh. There's no way I can get that. Oh, Jesus fucking, wash my fingers. <laughs> There's no way that's going to go on. So, let me get it. No, where to go? Maybe get the heat gun and just heat it a little bit so it's softer. Because I don't think you want to make it bigger. I think that's. Mm. That's going to be really Alright, cool. We're going to need the heat gun. Alright guys, so what I'm trying to do is heat up this um, rubber, and that mud flap, to see if I can get some uh, flex out of it. Oh, thought I had it. You did. Oh, I did. Oh, I got it. Look at that. Thank you. you did too. Oh, brilliant. Well, bugger me. I wouldn't have thought we would have got it. So there you go. I'll give that one to Nay because that was her idea to get the heat gun. Brilliant. So now all we've got to do... Oop, oh, shit. Okay. Yep. Is, um... We'll obviously line that up. Uh, drill it couple of holes and put some pop rivets. All right, on to the next bit. All right, guys, so we've got it on. We've got some... We, we thought we are going to use the... Um, what do you call those things? Pop rivets. Pop rivets. Um, but we just didn't have a pop rivet long enough to go through the whole thing, so that was not going to work. So we're going to try the screws. I've already tested it, and it seems to hold really good. But the problem that we've got at the moment, and they ought to show you if the dog gets out of the way, um, is that I can screw the back down, no worries, but we're having a bit of issue um, trying to get the front. Um, yeah, so I don't want to make it too... We don't want to cut too much of, of this away because we're not going to have any um, leverage to hold it on there. But anyway, well, here we go. We're going to try it. You re <laughs> the dog's gone mad. It's going around in circles. Well, that's one on. <clears throat> All right, so uh, that's the back on. Uh, the screws are going all have actually will go all the way through. What I'll do is I'll just grind them off the bottom. But now we've got to try and get this. Um, this is really looking bloody ugly, I can tell you now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that, but we're going to get... <clears throat> might have to get bigger screws. I'll get some longer screws. Hang on, guys. The dog's just walking around in circles. I'm sure she's going, for Christ's sake, can we get back in the bloody warm? <laughs> All right, here's a longer screw. This will either work or it won't work. The bloody dog! Oh, look at that! Wow! That worked pretty good. Isn't that pretty cool? Oh, jeez. So, if the dog would stop walking around. Yeah, that's on there bloody solid as. All right, so I've got to cut, if they can see underneath there. I'll just grind those off now. We're just sitting there having a bit of a rest and I'm just showing what this bloody dog of ours is doing. What it's doing is it's going over to its bowl, grabbing the dry food, and it walks around under the bike, <laughs> over to here, eats a couple, 
and then you watch in a minute she's going to walk straight back over here she goes <laughs> so go over get a couple more here she goes no she's going to have a picnic before she gets over no she's too hungry here she goes oh now you're going to make a liar out of me anyway so as you saw she was coming over here Oh, I can't believe. So you never work with bloody animals on videos. <laughs> That's what she was doing, going around. If we bring the bowl over to here, she still does it. She grabs it out, moves it somewhere, and then she'll eat it. Anyway, there you go. All right, guys, so we're just going to grind these off. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, so remember, eye protection. Eye protection on. Watch your eyes, Bob. Oh, bloody hell, welcome to Crazy Town. Um, yeah, that was a bit bloody, uh, I don't know, what would you Hectic? Say? That was a bit bloody hectic. Um, not very safe in the way I was doing it, but anyway, the job is now done. I'll just show you. So there you go, those bloody uh, screwy bit, oh, the, sc yeah, the screws are out, so now it's just the rubber that's on the footprint. Cool. Well, there you go, guys, that's a bloody job done i'm really happy with the way that's uh that's uh turned out cost me absolutely bloody nothing it's now 12 30 so it's actually taking us uh, an hour and a half um in the cold but anyway I'll look i'll show you what it, the end product all right so there it is so that's now given me um a really decent um pad now i mean it's nothing fantastic looking it's a bit bloody rough but i don't mind that so that's what it's like there. Now if I can, let me see if I can do this. Now he's gone in to make a cup of coffee for us. I'm pushing the bike up and if I get my leg out and flip that, there you go. So that's what it's like. Oh, I'll try and get the, so it's not too bloody crazy looking. Oh, Jesus, don't drop the bike, Mark. There you go, and as you can see, I've made it so that I had to trim some off the back there, so it doesn't um, hit that swing arm. I mean, it's only rubber hitting it anyway, but as I think you can see, Jesus, get in there, um, it's not hitting it. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. It was a bit of entertainment for me and bloody uh, Nay, and hopefully, guys, you guys got a laugh out of it as well. All right, guys, keep on riding. <laughs>